spotlight. We have with us Dobson Mustangs, head football coach Bill Godsell. Good, uh, coach Godsell. Good morning, sir. Good morning, and then let me say, uh, go Broncos. Yeah, that's my guy right there, Coach. <laughs> Come Godsell. on, I need you to chime right in. He's a fellow Bronco fan. I knew you'd have it. Broncos country always sticks together, Vince. Don't you forget. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> so, anyway, Coach, how you doing this morning? How's uh, how's things? How's uh, film going? Oh, it's going good. Uh, we then watched uh, the Skyline Mesa game last night. We have Skyline uh, next Friday, so always good to go get a little scout. How are they looking? You know, they've they've got uh, some good athletes. Number nineteen, uh, number one, their quarterback, uh, both really good athletes. Nice. Coach, how how are you guys preparing to finish out the season strong here and, and really leave it all on the field here in these last couple of games and and get the message through to these kids uh, that things are building, things are going in the right direction there in Dobson, and uh, that we just need to continue doing what we're doing and keep doing the right things? Well, it starts with just focusing on ourselves and uh, making me make sure that we take care of our individual stuff. And uh, the seniors are going to have a big role in this this week. Uh, they need to tra- pass on that tra- tradition of the what's expected of these underclassmen coming up. Coach, you got a you got a dandy in a, in a sophomore quarterback there. That kid is going to do some great things, and I know it's been baptism by fire for him this season with uh, you know taking his lumps, getting thrown into the wolves uh, early on, and and uh, and but you know he's he's getting so much on the job experience that you know I, I we're really excited about what the future holds for him. What what can you tell us? Uh, you know a little more add to that on Jordan Leg, your quarterback. Yeah, Jordan's done a great job stepping in there. Uh, it's not uh, not easy when you got a backup line um, in front of you. So, so he's been done a really good job of, uh, of keeping composure and looking towards the next play. Um, I, I have big expectations of him moving forward. Coach, speaking of your offensive line, those guys are slowly starting to gel. I'm sure you can probably see it as well. What would you say about those guys and uh, specifically your offensive line coach and uh, what he's doing for your team? Yeah, Barry Box, our offensive line, uh, he does a great job with those young men. We, uh, we're we going to return uh, four out of five next year. So that's, uh, that's a big return. Coach, we were talking last night. Uh, we were kind of, you know, Derek Diesner, who stepped in uh, for, for James uh, on the play-by-play Thursday night. And um, when we interviewed you at pregame live, we had asked you, you know, I said, come on, Coach. And it, it was more meant in jest. I wanted to see, you know, what's he going to say? What's he going to tell us? I said, Coach, throw us some nuggets. What are you going to do? Give us some, you know, what are some surprises that, that you're going to come? Coach, you were truthful. Nobody is ever truthful to us, and you were truthful. You said the first <laughs> play, I'm going to run a reverse, and uh, and then after we score, we're going to onside kick it. And sure enough, you ran a reverse that first play. Now, unfortunately, it, there was a little ball security issue there that, uh, you know, that, that kind of transpired. But you, you were honest. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Well, I had nothing to lose, so I wanted yeah. to spark the offense a little bit. And, uh, you know, we missed the block on that edge. And, and then next thing you know, he, that guy's knocking down the toss. Wow. But anyway, it was, uh, you know, a, a great couple of weeks that we had an opportunity to uh, to cover you guys. Not only, obviously, the, the game on the field, the games on the field didn't exactly go the, the way that, that you had hoped, but we saw some really good things that lay the foundation uh, in coming years. Uh, but uh, but also the coverage, we had a chance to, to reach out to the, the Dobson Mustang Nation and bring some history back. And, uh, and the community support that you have is just incredible. You put in so much time, you and your staff, and, and uh, we appreciate that, Coach. So thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming out. It was awesome. Well, thank you, Coach, for having us. It was, it was great experience on your campus. Like I said, you're building special things out there. The coaches were extremely nice. Your players are very respectful young men, and uh, it's just great things all the way around. So thanks again for having us out and letting us be a part of uh, the Mustangs world. And we'll follow you guys definitely in the future, and uh, we'll talk with you again very soon, sir. Outstanding. Look forward to having you guys back out. All right. Thank Thompson you, Coach Scott. So go Broncos. Go Broncos. <laughs> hey, there go, he goes and go, again. And go, and go Mustangs. And go All Mustangs. Right. Yes, Perfect. sir. Perfect. Dobson coach Bill Godsell, great. Uh, you know, we had a chance, obviously, to, to cover them the last couple weeks. Great guy, great staff. The, the program is in good hands uh, with uh, Coach Godsell. He really is the right person to uh, to lead that program, and it's just a matter of time. I heard from other coaches he worked with in the past in Colorado 
And uh, they said, you know, he steps into a situation uh, and, uh, and gets it turned around just with his attitude and obviously his, uh, uh, his skill level uh, as a tactician and, and a builder of uh, programs. So, Coach well, it's all about consistency, Vince, as you know, being a former coach as well, that if yeah. you keep doing the same things over and over again, the kids will say, okay, this is the way we're going to do it. This is how our program is going to be run, and that's exactly what Coach is getting going over there on Guadalupe Road. So.